Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Watch Natalie spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I am here to do your Psychic Daily Tarot reading, uh, a continuation from yesterday's reading. And they're telling me, okay, so I'm linking the, 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 the every, I'm linking the first video down below in the description box. So before you watch this reading, watch that first one. Okay. Okay. So they're telling me that for our next clarification of the fool, we are going to use this deck. We're going to use the, the Oracle, the angel, the, the love, the, it's the love one, the love, oh my God. Ooh. Someone, one of you don't speak, you have moments or, or moods or days where you don't speak much or it's like that tongue tied, but because you're in love, but it's not really because of nervousness. It's actually, uh, this is going back whichever one of you has this detach detachment from your feelings a little bit there's it's like that so that when you do that you might not know that you are in love that's interesting so someone what this is so weird <sighs> that was weird that that's weird okay let's go ahead and do the full now let's clarify the let's get a um interesting what does this leap of faith have to do with what do we need to know about well you guys <laughs> can't make it up okay we have two cards the first one that i saw it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Someone needs to hear this. Someone needs to hear it. Okay. It, it's okay. It's okay for you to love. That's the leap of faith. It is, is like actively a bit participating in this, in this connection, in this love connection. It's okay. They're telling you. It's okay. It sounds crazy. It sounds el loco. It looks crazy. It looks el loco, but it is safe for you to love. Okay. And then the next card that you got is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. Whoa. I think I'm going to be okay after this. I just felt a huge lift, like relief. There is something about, remember keeping an open mind? Someone was stressing about this, about is it to this, is it to that, or it's very radical, very different, but I can't help but being in love with this person, something like that, or, you know, but it's safe and go ahead and make the romantic gesture. For some of, for, for some of you, this is the first big step, and for some of you, it's like jumping into the deep end. Please tell us more about this. What else do we need to know about the fool? About the situation? Wow. It's solid. It's way solid. It's safe for you to love because it's solid, it's secure. There's something about glue. It's glue, okay? Whatever, okay, this love, this relationship, this connection, it's solid. So this could be happening very fast for you. You could have met this person very recently, but it was love at first sight, absolutely. Absolutely love at first sight. It just, it just you just got hit with the stick of love like bam, right across the face. And and it's like, okay. I mean, that's what I, okay, anyway. Wow. It's, it's safe for you to love. Take a leap of faith. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is an offer. So it's it's like that offer, that token, it's, it's that first romantic gesture. It's a big romantic gesture. It's 
Ooh, is it a marriage proposal? I just saw the ring. Oh. Some of you expect the ring. I saw the ring and this, look, this was the ring and this is the card of expectations. It's ships coming in. It's, it's, it's getting what you, like you put stuff out and then now it's coming back in. That's interesting. So some of you have this expectation of this offer from this person. It's the Empress star. Whoever the Empress star is, who you, someone just fell head over heels in love with you, okay? You're the one expecting the other person to take the leap of faith because you know how they're responding to you. And for both of you, it's very safe. It's very, very solid, very, very secure. There's something else about this three here. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, interesting. Some of you met this person through work or through business or through travel or through entrepreneurial activities. And it's like you expect this person to add value to the business as well. Or they just will. They just will add value. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it's super solid, super stable, super secure. And some of you, it's if it's, you know, there's something here about the, not, I don't, it doesn't feel like, a, it's, it's the leap, okay? It's the full energy. It's just jumping into it. So if you work together, that's the leap where it's like, okay, well, are we, we're going to take this romantic. You know, there's something about that here too. Oh, whoa. Did you guys hear that? I bet you did. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Two cards. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups and then we have the Five of Staves. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. There could be... Okay, your love your connection to this person, this, this leap of faith. It's more of the decision, whatever that decision is, whatever that's being represented by, it could be upsetting to other people. Like literally, we have two knights. Knights are delivering things, okay? And with this, we have the slowest knight and we have, you know, he's got one little... <laughs> I like doing that. Um, one little foot in the air with this horse. So he's walking a little bit faster, but not moving as fast as the Knight of Wands. Okay. So with this, it's like what, I, what they're showing me is that you feel is that when you, it's like when you approach or go to either offer your love or this person comes to you with their, you know, whatever that is, there's, there could be a disagreement or there could be um it's either between I don't I don't feel like it's between you two I feel like oh no they're telling me it is they're telling me that it's two things they're telling me that this is between you two like if one of you approaches the other one with the cup of love you might I, you feel it you both know that it's there you both know the connection is there okay absolutely it's it's whoever can't keep the open mind if someone, there's something about denying the connection though. There's like, you know, it's there, but it's like going back to the, to, um, sort of being detached from your feelings and not knowing that you're in love until you start stuttering or something or your knees give out and you fall. Okay. So that's a potentiality for some of you where that's just know that that's there. That's one thing. They're also telling me that it is also something about, you two bringing your love to the world and it causing conflict. So you guys could be from different backgrounds. You could be unorthodox in some way with the star energy. It's very individual energy. It's very unique energy, but it's also purity. It's also inspiration and healing. 
it feels like this Romeo, it's, it's, it's like someone could even be a little bit naive in this situation because they're so in love, because they feel these Romeo feelings <laughs> for someone. And it's like they have the best of intentions and they, they walk into a situation and it just blows up or it just, it just, they don't get the reaction that they want because they don't see it. They don't see it from that perspective. They have the open mind and they have their heart. They have their love. They feel what they feel. And it's, it doesn't, like Romeo can't understand why the Capulets and the Montagues are like, well, why can't we, you know. That this person, this energy just doesn't get it. Knight of Cups does not understand this conflict energy at all. So I feel like Knight of Cups could be walking into a situation where they encounter more conflict than they originally anticipated. Or Romeo in this situation underestimates something or someone. It could even be you. It could even, you know, if you're the star empress sun card in this they could come to you and you're like this can't be like this i know you love me to pieces but it's like there's you know what i'm saying your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations there's expectations here so it's like for some of you you will have to overcome expecting your life to turn out a certain way expecting your soulmate to be a certain type of person or a certain looking type of person you know maybe you always loved blonde hair and you meet someone with dark hair you know i mean that's very very superficial but whatever the expectation is you, you gotta let that go gotta let it go because it is what it is i don't know what to tell you okay we're going to move on. We're going to move on to this partnership. We're going to take a look at this two of staves. Okay. Let's take a deeper look. What's this all about? Yeah. So this leap of, let me, now here's the thing. Um, they're pulling me back to the full energy. The full, it's safe. It is safe for you to love, express your love. That's all there. The connection, the sexual attraction, the affinity, the best friend relationship, the best friend affinity, that is all existing between you two. There are things superficially, there are things on the outside that do not look like they make any dang sense. Or where you have expectations that don't fit your current reality. Or, you know, something about this keeping an open mind where there's maybe things are playing out a little bit differently than you thought. Maybe, I don't know, it, pick your crazy scenario, but it's there. And they're, they're, the, the cards, the channelings are telling you that it's there and to go for it. And to let go, for those of you where this is a little bit of a sticky energy of these expectations where it's really hard for you to let that go, where you're like, no, I put all this into attracting this type of a lover or being with someone like that. I'm not going to let that, you know, it could be a little bit difficult for you to let that go, but you got to or you should that's what they're telling you because it's it's safe to love this person that is outside of your expectations so just saying and then also there is something about this like but i love them how could i i'm in love how could everyone be in conflict if i feel so good that's what this is the knight of cups the five of stage doesn't he doesn't get it just doesn't get it okay two of staves here we go whoa Oh my gosh. I knew I saw it here. I knew I did. This is a marriage. This is this is a proposal. This is like a, a marriage proposal. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Fool, Double Fool. Well, I was just talking about the Fool. They brought me back to the Fool with the Ace of Pentacles. That's This is the wedding ring, okay? That there, And there is... This, let me put it, okay, <laughs> look, at me. <laughs> look at me here. Okay, so this partnership is good for business. It is good for your bottom line. It's good for both of your bottom lines. You guys are great for each other. Someone, I mean, you come, you're, you're, you guys are coming across as so gorgeous and so beautiful inside and out. 
the star, the empress, the sun, now the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is giving you, you're coming across, you could even be channeling Capricorn energy in this eclipse energy. You could be coming across more um, either ultra feminine, doesn't matter the gender, okay, but just extremely devoted and loyal and solid and stable and secure, um, money conscious, so a saver, a good saver, very charitable. Maybe you give to charities or something or you, you, you put back, like you circulate the energy of money and wealth in a very responsible manner and that is actually something that is also attractive about you. You, uh, they see you as like infinitely abundant, like you attract beautiful things and that you are this beautiful person. And they also see you as managing everything that you are attracting into your life with responsibility and that makes them feel safe with you. They, they, okay, there's a long-term safety with, with this energy. This could be, you could have just gotten out of a 30-year marriage and you're about to enter into another 30-year marriage and this person could be 30 years younger than you. Okay, it could be, it could see, and that would fit all of this with keeping an open mind, love at first sight, and just because this, what's going on now, these big moves and these big shifts are happening, they're going to stick. It's going to, the Saturn, Pluto, Capricorn, it's going to stick potential for some of this stuff. It's going to be over the next 30 years. It's going to start a whole different 30 year cycle for you. With the fool, we can, it's all connected here. It's safe to propose. It's safe to make this commitment. The ace of pentacles is also, it could be starting a new business. It could be getting the capital for the new business. It could be the beginning of an enterprise between both of you. You two could start a business. You could grow a business. You could, I mean, you could just really, you could do it because we, this is here to clarify the two of staves. And just like we have, where is he? The three of staves, where we don't see him, he's looking out at the ships. This is you guys making these ships to send these ships out and to, you know, combine your powers together. So I, I now I really do see business and love and relationship, okay? Either that or, or finances are very strong Finances are very strong between you two and they're very mm, positive, lucrative. One or both of you are coming across lucrative or someone that is good with money. Very, very... They can trust in this authority. They can trust in this queen of pentacles. She's the most loyal out of all the queens. She, she really is. She's the most devoted, the most loyal, obviously the most responsible, very earthy energy. Does not have to be an earth sign. Doesn't have to be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Does not have to be, okay, um, Aquarius or Leo or, it, it, but it's just these energies that we're channeling here. And then with the Six of Swords, this is, this is incredible. This is leaving conflict behind, leaving this conflict behind and moving into safer, calmer waters. But it's through taking a big leap of faith that you leave it all behind because you have to move forward. You have to move on. You have to follow your heart is what they're telling me to tell you. You have to follow your heart. Even if it's not exactly how you pictured it or if it's not exactly how you expected it, you got to keep an open mind. They want you to keep an open mind about it. Whoa. Okay. When, if this happens, if this Romeo energy walks into a situation totally blind, doesn't even know what's, that they're going to encounter any kind of conflict or in, and they do, this is that person leaving it behind and it's it's understanding finally that not everyone's going to be happy for you and those are the negative words the swords pointing down that's that negativity it's very um negative it's like bad words bad everything we say everything that we say to people to each other and to ourselves is a spell or a curse. Just keep it simple. 
it's a spell. When God him love you. Okay, or it's a curse. I curse you. I curse myself. Okay, it's it's one or the other. So you're when you're saying positive things, think of those as spells, enchanting spells. I'm gonna have a great day today. You know, and when you're thinking something negative, when you're saying something negative in your mind or out loud, it's a curse. You're cursing yourself, you're cursing someone else, you're cursing what have you. When you enter, when you or this other person kind of naively, open-heartedly go in to maybe try to explain this unconventional partner or this different, unique individual, you get bad words. You get people that are putting you down, putting your choices down, um, and they are cursing you. They are literally bad for you. And this is you walking away from that and heading towards what's stable for your heart, what's good for your heart. They're showing me when... <gasps> You're going to, someone wants to like grab someone and just hold them, like hold them close. That's what they're telling me. It's a big leap of faith. Um, so, ooh, ooh, some of you with the, with these two things, this could be that you have a very racist family and you fall, you, you, you or you've never been racist and you just kind of always dated the people that they just happen to approve of. And now you're, you've totally fallen in love with someone that you know your family would absolutely hate for no good reason. And this is you thinking that they love you and want your happiness more than they want to hate someone else. And you're finding out, nope, <laughs> they can't do it. They can't support you and love you and support your happiness. So this, they're telling me this might just be for one of you, okay? where you have to take the leap of faith and make that commitment to your heart. And this is you, and this is my Titanic um, survivor, sort of victimized and traumatized. You're exiting the situation, you're exiting the toxic, and I'm not even saying that that part is toxic, I mean it is toxic, but it's disconnected from the toxicity that I was talking about in part one. This is moving away from this argument or from this fight or from this uh, conflict. It's you or this other person moving away from that and a little bit worn, a little bit battle weary, a little bit, you know, just sort of uh, shame, you know, it's, oh, I want, I wanted the support. I wanted the love, you know, but your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So what are they going to do? What are you going to do? You know, it's like, what can any of us do? They've been saying this to me this entire time and I have not been saying it because of who said it or where, where I heard it first. And I'm pretty sure he said it, said it, but they're telling me the heart wants what it wants. Please don't, I'm just the messenger. Please don't be mad at me, please. Okay, so, but it, but it does, okay? That's what they're telling me. That's, what, that's not Natalie. That's what they're telling me to tell you, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and pull Oracle cards for you. Okay. What else do we need to know about this? I already feel better. Oof. I hope this is the last of it because it, it can come back. That's what happened after I channeled it last time, a little bit last time. It was a different scenario, but this is, this, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I will keep you updated. I will let you know. What's this? Holy shnikey. A personal issue reaches resolution full moon in Cancer. They flashed January 10th, 11th, and 12th. However that resonates for any of you, things might happen on those days. Oh, 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 no, no, no. It's the, it's, that's why they, okay, that, thank you. They flashed, okay, that's, if you're watching this in 2020 in real time, that's the date of the Cancerian 
lunar eclipse. Okay, so full moon in Cancer, Cancer eclipse in January. It's, it's next week. That's next week. It's next week. So this is like, okay, for those of you where this is in real time and, and this is all resonating with you, this, the Cancer eclipse is going to close out, um, it's going to close something out for you and it's going to be a personal issue. I feel like for one of you, it's, uh, it's the, the open-mindedness. It's going to be you accepting that this person is just fucking, okay, they're different or whatever it is. This, okay, I accept them as, okay, it's not ideal or it's not, per you know, whatever it is, whatever it is, that person, that's their personal issue that they're resolving. This other person, uh, it's like they're trying to, um, they're trying to get someone's approval almost. And they're, they're trying, they're very, they're being very naive about it. They're saying, well, I, don't you want me to be happy? I found someone that I'll be very happy with. And they're, and they don't get that. That's their personal issue where they're being put in a position to stand up for their own heart and to stand up for what makes them happy and taking that leap of faith and, and doing that and not letting what other people think and not letting what other people say influence their decisions about their life. And they could have done that in the past. They could have deeply cared about maybe what their parents think, their friends think, you know, whatever it is. And yeah, movie, that's that personal issue. That's up the, okay, let me do another one. I took a look at the bottom, but it wasn't for you. I just took a peek. Is there another, okay. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, it totally was for you because it just popped up again. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. What is this? I'm going to have to pull a card on this. Okay. The next two cards, we have a time for healing. That's what, that's what one or both of you are racing towards. It's like, I love this person. This person brings me healing, sexual healing, emotional healing, spiritual. Okay. That's what's on, that's what's at stake. That's what's on the table. Of course, love and romance and excitement and all that other stuff, but it's healing. It's healing the personal issues. It's healing. Okay. And then the last card, you are good enough. Full moon and Virgo energy. Oh, they're telling me that this is about the retreat energy that we picked up earlier. That there could be some insecurity and that you need to spend more time together, just you two, to build up the confidence in some way, shape, or form. Aw. And it might be confidence as a couple. It might be confidence in a union, being together in a union, okay? Oh, I came back. When, and they, they glued, they zapped my eyes right to the word commitment too. And I got like the rush. Your commitment is being tested. That's what this is about. It's like, it's like your commitment to being in love or having love. Remember when I said in the two of cups that you both have a cup to filled with, to give, and then you both have a cup to receive. It's being put to the test. Your commitment is being tested here. It's like, oh, well, you wanted love, didn't you? Weren't you asking for a soulmate? This, here we go. Here's what it looks like. It might not be easy. It might not be exactly how you designed it in your life. But love is, here's your, here it is. Here's your soulmate. <laughs> so your commitment to your yourself being loved and accepting love, giving love is being tested. That's even significant how I said, oh no, that's not for you. There's, it's almost like, oh, like, oh, oh, oh. They're telling me that it's this person who doesn't know what they're feeling all the time. That you know, how I said, oh, it's not for you. Oh, it's not, you know, it's like, oh, this isn't my soulmate. This is not the one. 
I'm sexually attracted, I have an emotional connection, I like them dearly, they're great company, everything else, there's a couple, but I can't keep an open mind because they don't check this box and this box and this box. Not for me, not for me, not for me. That's being tested for you. That's, that's what they mean by your commitment is being tested. The first quarter moon energy. It's a crisis in action or it's a crisis in consciousness where you have to overcome that. Whoever in the situation is that uh, is a little bit disconnected from their own feelings here. This is interesting. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to leave you. <laughs> oh, hold on. Someone here has incredible vision, though. They just did this weird thing. If you can see, yeah, you do see it. The, the round, see that? Well, they just kind of, it's like someone put a drop of liquid in it, like the ripples, right here on his third eye. Do you see that? And then I saw, I saw a lie. I saw like the whole, like a vista. Someone here is a visionary and they will always be a visionary. I mean, they don't have to be like a genius or anything, but I'm saying someone has a vision for their life. And it's like, they, they're they very solid in that. They're very, this is like that sticking energy where they're, um, you know, like they had a very clear vision for their life and for their soulmate and what their soulmate would look like or be like or have or not, you know, whatever it is. And that I'm getting that it's one of you. If this is one of you and this is one of you. Okay. So it's take the leap of faith, express your love. It is safe for you to love. Okay, it's what the tower it has to demolish is is that this one energy here who has this very specific a little bit it's just a little bit they're telling me it's a little bit too specific <laughs> of a vision for your life, okay? That's what that's what that open mind is about. And that's even here a little bit the 2 of swords with that 2 of cups. You know, one of you is just over the moon giving into this connection, really leaning into it. And then the other one is like, mm, I don't know. But what has to happen is that you two need more time together alone, build up confidence as a couple, as a partnership. And we have to let go of thinking that no longer serves us and keep an open mind. Okay, guys, I love you forever. Best of luck. I'm sending you all of the lucky photons. And this would need more detail. This would need a personal reading. If this is really resonating with you and you're feeling confused about any of this, reach out to me. We'll get you in the mix and we'll figure this out, how it, what's going on in your personal situation because there's a lot of different variables. There's a lot of different couples. There's a lot of different people that this reading will resonate for. Um, okay. So there were a lot of different channelings that came through that are going to be for different people. So if this is resonating for you and you feel like you want more, that you need more, more guidance, just let me know. TheArtegan.com slash shop. And we'll, we'll get into that. Otherwise, you guys, I love you forever. Did I say that already? Did I say that already? I think I did. I love you forever and we'll talk soon. Bye.